week, West Michigan said goodbye to such a wonderful man, Fred Meyer. And we wanted to take some time to remember and look back at one of our favorite moments that we got to spend with him. Definitely was a treat. Two years ago at Christmas time, he gathered a huge crowd of kids at the gardens and read aloud, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas." So here's something to put you in the mood for the holidays. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house now the creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Did you see that mouse there? No, no there isn't one. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Now you know who St. Nicholas is? Santa Claus. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. Did you ever see a sugar plum? No. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from the bed to see what was the matter. Now who made the clatter? Away to the window, I flew like a flash, and I tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon was on the breast of the new fallen snow and gave the luster of midday to the object below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. More rapid than eagles, their courses there came, and he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Victim, oh come Comet, and on Cupid, on Donner, on Blixen. He, he's telling him, let's go. Here's a picture. See, I see all the pictures, you don't get to see them all. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle and mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew, with a, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. What's a hoof? Foot. Yeah. Foot, you bet your life. I drew in my head and was turning around and down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Suppose he got Chuck stuck in the chimney with his fat stomach. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his feet. His clothes were all tarnished and with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they trickled, the dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn like a, up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. Now how come the beard didn't get dirty? The stump of a pipe he held right in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A twinkle of his eye, a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, he went straight to his work, he filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. 
He wasn't the jerk, the stocky was. And laying his finger aside on the side of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and to his team he gave a whistle. And away they flew like down in a thistle. I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and all a good night. You know, just a sparkle in his humor, and it was a wonderful opportunity for us. It was our very first Christmas that we were on the air with 8 West, and, uh, you know, of course, the Meyer Gardens with their Christmas and holiday traditions around the world. It's just such a wonderful display, and uh, we contacted Mr. Meyer about uh, doing that, reading to the kids. He was so excited and so energetic, and, and that uh, is just such a treasure now that we will always have of him. It is, and just watching, you can tell that people of all ages, the young, mm -hmm. the young at heart, everyone <laughs> right. just really admires and loves Mr. Absolutely. Fred well, of course, his legacy will live on. We had such a fun time with uh, the shooting the story and how he just engaged with the kids and really made it so personable. And even the comments, you know, how come his beard didn't get dirty? Aww. Classic Fred Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. And there's so much that's going on at the gardens this time of year with the Christmas and the holiday traditions from around the world. That's right. This year they're featuring Dickens Carolers, art activities for families, Santa visits, of course, rooftop reindeer, carriage drawn, horse drawn carriage riser rides, so much to see, so much to do, the Meyer Gardens, and of course don't forget, the perfect Christmas gift for a family is a family membership for next year to the Meyer Gardens. It's great, affordable it way is. to make sure you get to enjoy it all year long. It is. I actually had the opportunity to go last year to Christmas around the world, and my parents are going this year. Fantastic. So. Stay with us. We'll be right back.